What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, we got an ultimatum. Now, after you finish every chapter, you will get a little item to add to your collection. There are actually tons of items in this game. So the first one for completing the prologue is the Hope Speak Academy School Crest. Kind of nice. So who's thinking it? So I can kill you first. Still having a hard time believing this is real. Somebody want to break the silence? And? <sighs> I'm glad somebody spoke. Hey. <laughs> right, right. Sorry we ever considered the second option. Listen to me. You hear me? No, no, Taka. It, it's okay, dude. Huh? However, stupid. Right, right. There's probably something that Monokuma overlooked. I mean, like a hidden passageway or a special door. What the? Or that. Junko's method is a bit more extreme, but what? I'm sure there's somebody around here controlling Monokuma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a good idea. That's another good idea. We should probably look at the rules so we don't break any. Yeah, open the wrong door and get blasted by a flamethrower. I don't know. So then... All right, all right. Let's uh, take a look here. Ooh, nice and digitized. Oh, and it knows me. So the owner's name will always be on it. Might want to take note of that. All right, so first school regulation. All the rules that we have to follow here. So we can only be in the school. What? We can't leave the campus? Well, yeah, we literally can't. 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Hmm, so that's considered nighttime. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. So no more sleeping in class for me. Got it. So we can explore as much as we want within the realm of possibility and not get punished for it. That's interesting. So, uh, hey, Mondo, how about that rule five, huh? Huh? I'm sorry. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Huh. So if they're caught... What happens? No, oh, you can't add that as a rule. The rule to add more rules. Great. So, seven golden rules that we need to follow. Stop fucking around. They nearly did control you. In fact, they nearly killed you. <laughs> oh, Celeste, you bitch. However, hmm. 
This is a permadeath game, Hifumi. Yeah, Mondo, you might want to yep. listen to the rules. Let him finish. What? So you have to get out of here. Piece of shit! Gotcha. So you need to make up for all those promises you made. More or less. That's true. <laughs> no, I, I understood you, man. Let's see, what was Regulation 6 again? Oh yeah, the Blacken. That's what I was wondering, too. Unless they are discovered. Hmm. I wonder. Is it if they're caught in the act, or...? So you need to be able to get away with it. So, technically, couldn't one person kill everybody? I mean, it's possible. Such ignorance. <laughs> oh my. I sense a bit of tension between these two. Yeah, Byakuya, you, you have given yourself the Supreme Dickhead Award. Thanks, buddy. Should we try to explore, maybe? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can't find a way out of here, and if not, maybe some clues? Right, right, we need to think about all the you living... Understand? Everything, really. Let's do it! Don't worry, nobody wanted to pair with you. What? Except for all your fangirls, maybe. Hmm. Look, we're trying to keep it on the positive side here, Byakuya. Let's just assume that nobody wants to kill anybody. He really doesn't have much faith Hold in us, does he? Look, she was just trying to be positive, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you, but you have a point. Damn it! Uh, um... God, he's absolutely right, and I hate him for it. Hmm. Biaka, you just earned a point in my book, but damn it! Just hold on. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your language, Byakuya. What? Could have insulted his brother for all you know. Such ignorance. Somebody gonna get their ass kicked! <laughs> oh, you wanna borrow my shovel so you can dig your hole deeper? You're fucking dead. Oh, God. This might be fun to watch. I have to agree with Makoto. We honestly shouldn't fight in this situation. No, 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 don't bring this on me. I was just saying that maybe we shouldn't fight. Uh oh. Oh.
Ow. Man, Mondo hits hard. How did I end up here? Where is here? Oh, my head's throbbing. Ouch. So, Mondo nearly killed me, and, uh... I keep falling asleep and waking up in random rooms. Hope Speak Academy is weird. Okay, so now we can access, essentially, the pause menu. You can go to see your different presents, but we'll get to that later when we can actually obtain them. But this is also where you'll get the items for finishing specific chapters in the game. So if you ever want to take a look at them, and some of them have really funny descriptions, I'll be reading those a bit later. But this is where they are. The report card is something I'll also get into a bit later. We need to progress a bit more for us to actually be able to do anything about this, so I'll just save it for when we get there. The regulations, just in case you need to see all the rules, they're all right here. And the system is everything else. So you can save, load, you can change the options, but the one thing that's really important for something like this, just in case you skip it, the Vita is very finicky, because if you accidentally press the touch screen, you are going to skip dialogue. You might skip one or two lines. So if you ever want to go back and see what somebody said, the transcript will go over the entire script so far in a chapter or in a specific section of a chapter. So it's very helpful to go back and reread what people have said. This will also help a bit later with the new gameplay elements they include. But anyway, back to being half dead. Ow! Oh yes, and another shortcut for the transcript to see what everybody has said. The select button. Nice shortcut. Alright, so now we are in a room of some sort. What do we have as... Oh my god, that's a lot of hotspots. Uh, let's go on the stuff that we haven't clicked on yet, like uh, this drawer here. A toolbox. Or a toolkit, excuse me. Somebody gave me a present! But that thing above it, what is this thing? Oh, a notepad! Oh, cool, I can write notes to Sayaka and give it to her in class. Hmm. And what do we have here? Is this a lint roller? <laughs> it is! Okay, cool, we can clean up after ourselves. Uh, what do we have here? What door is this? Is this the closet? Oh, the bathroom! Uh-oh. They locked the bathroom door? Are you kidding? Alright, alright. And here's our bed. I wonder if Makoto has anything to say about that. Okay, nothing strange about the bed. It's average like me. Oh, uh, let's see. Is there anything else here? We've got a piece of paper on the wall. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! So, based on what this says, we are in, or I am in, my own room. Furnished with a shower, please note that the water is turned off at night. So between 10 and 7, no water. Oh. Well, that's very... Kind of you, Monokuma. The girls get a sewing kit. Yeah, and the boys get a tool kit because of power tools. Duh! Oh, that's not fair! <laughs> well, we get something equally as deadly. That is the most backhanded welcome I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that shit. We don't need to worry about that, because nobody's going to kill anybody. Let's see, besides the crumpled piece of paper... Alright, so nothing in the trash can, but right there is a Monokuma coin! In almost every room, there will be hidden Monokuma coins somewhere in the hotspots of the room. 
So sometimes if you see a hotspot that looks out of the ordinary, and sometimes they will be in hotspots that you have already seen, such as the security camera or the, uh, the plated windows here, sometimes you will find a hidden Monokuma coin. And those will be used a bit later, but for now there's one more thing here on the table. Oh, it's even got my name on it. So this is probably my room. I, I can probably guess this. Well, now that we have our key, the only thing else back here... Alright, it's only the door. Yeah, what about the monitor here? I'd never check that. <laughs> Erg! I hate this channel, the blank channel. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. It must be my room! Oh my god, whoever brought me here, you just saved my life! Thank you! Right, they brought me to my dorm room so I wouldn't die in my sleep. I wonder if being unconscious counts as sleeping. Okay, where's Mondo? I need to kill him. Oh yeah, that is a good point. We need to find everybody else. Alright, so once more with feeling. Let's leave our room. And... Don't! Oh! Ah! What'd I do? Sayaka, you came to see me! I'm not looking down. Oh. Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I'm okay. I can take a punch. Sorry about that. So what are you doing here? Did you just come to see me? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you look like you're made of porcelain. Actually, that's a good point she brings up. Um. Yeah, where is he? I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach him an average lesson that, you know what? Never mind. I can't touch him. I must have looked really pathetic. <laughs> if I had any cool to give. Makoto. Am I still cool with you, Sayaka? My pride's just gone. Oh, well, thank you. Well, it really means a lot coming from you. Uh, um. Oh, really? Well, again, thank you. Um, listen. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Is it just you and me, or is everybody else there? Because, uh... Makes sense. Ah, okay. So, divide and conquer, basically. That's good. Sounds good. Alright, so we need to go meet Sayaka in the dining hall. But first of all, I just want to show you something really cool. Everybody's room has an 8-bit picture of them. I, I don't know, I just think this is the coolest thing. Danganronpa is a game that likes to reference a lot of video game-esque things, so seeing the 8-bit drawings is really funny to me, I, I don't know, and everybody seems pretty closely grouped together. It's not guys and girls, they're just all in one big line from the looks of it. There's the Leon, Yasuhiro, Yafumi... Wait, there was one person missing, wasn't there? There was one person I didn't see. Maybe I'm just blind. Oh, there she is. Okay, Celeste's room. Got it. 
So here is everybody's room. Got it. And, uh, this is where I belong. Nah, I'm kidding. All right, so at this point, they're just going to railroad me. So there honestly is no point to exploring anything else after we've met up with everybody in the dining hall. So, and this place is huge, by the way. This is a very open spot. Got the laundry here. We've got the bath. And, uh... Oh! Is this ho is this uh, Despair Hotel? That wouldn't make a lot of sense. Plenty of room here. And, uh... I don't get it. Oh, you know, whatever. Let's just head into the dining hall. Got a nice setup here, too. Um. Well. Okay, sounds cool. Maybe we can uh, catch up. What did you want to talk with me about from earlier? Oh, she's reading minds again! Like I said, I'm psychic. I don't believe you. I don't want to believe you. <laughs> okay. You were such a tease and I like it. How is that good intuition? Oh, another tutorial coming straight at my face! This is very important right here. Reactions. Well, yeah, there's nobody else in the room. Aha, purple words. This is reaction mode. These are basically the phrases that will advance the plot. Whoa! Essentially, it is a way to advance dialogue trees in order to get more information to move forward. And again, it does advance the plot. Sounds good! And I love the sound effect. <laughs> right, right. Okay, well, uh, before we talk to you, Sayaka, there might be a couple things in here to click on, and I would love to click on them. Uh, what time is it? How long was I out? Seven o'clock? Mondo, you beat the shit out of me! Uh, um... Jeez! Yeah, no kidding. You didn't knock out my coolie, knock three years off my life. <laughs> my god! So that's another thing that kind of... It kind of adds to the atmosphere, just adds to the whole feeling of everything. There is no concept of time other than what the clocks say. You cannot see outside. Like this right here, all fake. So, yeah, this is, uh, that would drive me nuts if I didn't know what time of day it was. All right, looks like it's the same thing for that one, but there is a Monokuma coin in there. Nice! I'm going to do my best to try and get all the Monokuma coins, because when I played this game originally, I was just clicking around everywhere like a madman, because I just had to know what happened with this stupid monitor. But, uh, I'm going to be clicking around a lot, and sometimes I'll just go into a room, and I'll cut away and cut back, because I'll just go into a room and click on everything, just to see what happens. Okay, wait here patiently like a good boy. Oh, well, that was weird. Okay, Sayaka, you look like the uh, last thing to click on, so uh, let's chit-chat with you for a while. Hey, um... Yeah, did you want to catch up from earlier? Um... Holy crap! <laughs> Just a couple things to click on right off the bat. There we go. Basically, think of this as like a Mass Effect dialogue tree. Something to that extent, but not as in-depth. So she wants to ask me a couple things, and only after we ask her will she actually say it. So there will be times where there will be multiple things to ask about, and you'll have to restart the dialogue tree to get to the next one. 
let's go ahead and continue our self-introductions. So I like long walks on the beach. What about you? Uh, um. Oh yeah, you wanted to ask me something. What was it? Please tell me. Oh, well, of course. I need to ask the other part. What did you want to ask me, Sayaka? Well, now that you mention it... Wait, how do you know this? Is this just your good intuition? Really? We went to the same class? I didn't even notice. Come on, Makoto. This is going to win you brownie points. Come on. Say you remember, even if you don't. Okay, good. He does remember. She remembered a normal guy like me. Finally, I have a connection with somebody. Somebody knows who I am. No, it's okay, I just... You just gave me those three years that no Mondo knocked off of me by knowing who I was. <laughs> that will probably never happen in a real-life scenario. The popular girl knowing the nobody. Okay, okay. Makoto, let me tell you about leading the conversation and not putting yourself down to look good in front of the ladies. Aww. No, the word is average. <laughs> she hit the nail on the head. <laughs> Go ahead, make fun of me. Everybody else does. Sayaka, you just made the day better. That's good. Yeah, no kidding. I would have been lost if there was nobody else to like relate with. <sighs> Likewise. Well, uh, I'm glad you finally realized. I gotta shut the hell up. All you ultimate students, please notice me. <laughs> oh, well, that makes me feel great. Sayaka, you're a miracle worker. Okay. <gasps> yeah, we gave her a second title. Would you like a third as my ultimate waifu, please? Well, that'll work. Cool, we're a team now. It sounds really silly. <laughs> you know what, Makoto? Me too. Hey, um. Yeah, where is everybody? Are you sure they're coming to the right place? Did you tell them the right time? Uh, yeah, where were you, Mr. Punctual? How unfortunate. <laughs> Taka, it's okay if people beat you to the punch. It's alright. Gotcha, justice always prevails. Everybody's coming in. So what did everybody learn? I learned that the inside of my eyelids are really boring when I'm unconscious. Dang, 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 dang.